so finally it's winter and you can see all everything is uh, perishing only those uh, with over there with that uh, red uh, sticks and uh, net that's the piece other than that everything else is going down opera they're gone all the leaves are gone on the very top uh, like about I would say around eight or nine feet there's the very last of them and that's the majestic tree over there so tomatoes they can't stand the cold very much so they're all gone but uh, behind the tomatoes there are like two type of pea uh, peppers bell peppers and green chili they withstand even uh, freezing temperature so good to know for the next uh, growing season <clears throat> everything else is gone uh, over there that's a uh, sog mustard that's uh, like a uh, original dish sog and that over there that I did not want to <laughs> film but uh, it is uh, that's the <clears throat> our what would you say um, so those are the uh, peppers there right there they're still uh, they're not growing or anything but they uh, two or three nights it was uh, down to like 30 and they're still standing so you know it's good to know for the next growing season like if, uh, if the temperature hits below freezing and quickly reach uh, like the next day it goes back up so they will recover and that's my compost pile that I did not do meant to film but it got filmed anyhow and this is the uh, sog mustard they are growing uh, cold uh, temperature is good for them <coughs> There was, a, I think, there's some rabbit, or uh, I saw a couple of rabbits here, like late at night. So they're out, and I think they chewed a lot, half of the leaves. They're gone. But uh, cold temperature or winter means only one thing: more labbing, all the time staying in indoors and uh, <clears throat> doing all the cool stuff on the labs, virtual machines. So I just wanted to document my garden so I'll cherish it more the next spring. Alright, bye.